In this video I'd like to show you the tools that I use uh, when planning my motorcycle trips. I'm using Basecamp because this is the one that connects with my GPS for route planning. I'm using version 4.6.2 as later versions is missing features that I like to use and the most important one is the ability to look at whatever I have in focus in Basecamp, look at that in uh, Google Earth. Um, that is very very helpful to me. I will start out by creating a new list duometer. So I wanted to go to Duometer National Park and I want to plan a route that goes from this town across this section into that canyon and into that small uh, collection of houses that we have and then continuing down those gravel roads along the uh, the river here and then all the way to the border. So let's get started. I want to plan from here, just any point in here, doesn't really matter where, that dot and then to this section. So I'm a little bit concerned that I don't have any map data saying that there's a road. Let me check what Google Earth says. So having this one selected, I will go to view Google Earth and selected items that will launch Google Earth. It will add the route as a layer in Google Earth and zoom in on it. I'm just going to zoom in on this one and this one actually shows that there is a m road here so I'm not too happy with the map data in uh, in the base camp and uh, the map data is 2019.2 so it's fairly new. This one is from 2017. If this image is accurately placed on the map it is actually a paved road take a look at that one. There's a little bit of patch paved. So I don't know why the Garmin map and I think there's a bit of a paved section here. Let me just open this image in my browser. Yeah, it's definitely paved. So what I do want to do is I want to use the OpenStreetMap as a map source for this section in, in uh, Basecamp and there's a very f nice feature for doing exactly that. Going to Garmin Oops, garmin.openstreetmap.nl I'm going to, so it, if it's a lot of users on it right now, maybe we won't be able to do this, but this allows you to create a map for Basecamp or directly to your Garmin device if you want to, based on OpenStreetMap data. I just want to have Montenegro for now. So I'm going to choose Montenegro. Each country has been pre-generated so it needs to look for existing files rather than regenerating the, the files. It used to be a lot quicker and instantaneously. Now it takes a few minutes. Don't know why, but you have to be patient. You can go and get yourself a cup of coffee. So it completed and shows me the link to where I can download the map. It's a relatively small map because Montenegro is a relatively small country. I'm going to choose this one and have it installed into Basecamp. I'm going to trust this one, choose English, that's fine, next I agree, and MNE, that's the three letter code for Montenegro, install, and finish, restart Basecamp for the map to be available, and I'm going to choose the MNE map, you can see MNE, and then it adds the date. So this one has a lot more details, so I want to continue that route to this part and I want to continue it to here to make sure it actually go that way and then I want to continue to the border to Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'm just going to place it. I know the border station is right here. I'm just going to place it here and that's it. So I want to rename this one, I don't know, across Duometer, Montenegro, whatever. Alright, that's basically it. I want to verify that in Google Earth. So I'm going to, I'm going to highlight that one, going to view Google Earth, selected items, check this one. So this is 
the route that it has suggested based on my OpenStreetMap. And that's it. Thanks for watching.